Now, I already held Novak Djokovic in high regard. He's the tennis player who preferred to miss Grand Slams and lose his number one ranking than be vaccinated just to play. Whatever your stance on the COVID vaccine, you had to admire a guy who, in a world of pragmatists, stood on principle. Australians, many of whom got jabbed for no greater reason than so they could go to Kmart, hated him. And that hate hasn't entirely disappeared. This weekend, a two-legged sheep sitting in the stands of the Australian Open interrupted Novak as he was about to serve, yelling, get vaccinated, mate. Check out Novak's response. Get vaccinated, mate. Four match points. Please. That's how you answer your critics, with an ace. But something else happened this week that showed the character of Novak Djokovic. One of Novak's biggest critics, sports journalist Mike Dixon, tragically collapsed and died while covering the tennis last week. Dixon was aged just 59. Now, Dixon had led the charge for Novak to be banned from tournaments for refusing to get the jab. He called Novak a deplorable, a fanatic, a dangerous quack. He wrote that Novak's reputation had been trashed beyond repair. So... How do you think Novak greeted news of Dixon's death? Well, he left a message on Twitter reading, condolences to Mike Dixon's family, rest in peace. Novak's critics have never been so gracious toward him. He's not lost at the Australian Open since 2018 and is through to the quarterfinals. The Serbian tennis champion continues to raise the bar both on and off the court.